MemberPress is the easiest way to turn your WordPress website into a premium membership site. And I'm going to show you why in this video today. So let's get started. First of all, we've got, I've built a small website here called Finance Depot, and it has a couple of pages on it. It has one that's a financial analysis page, uh, an about page, and we're going to want to protect this financial analysis uh, so that people have to pay to view. So let's get started here. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is um, install MemberPress itself. So we come here to Plugins and Add New. And then I'm just going to drag uh, the zip file for the plugin right here and install the plugin through the WordPress plugin uploader. You'll notice that once it's installed, MemberPress tells you right here uh, the th steps that you need to take next. Um, first, we're going to go and activate the plugin. And I'm just going to copy the license key out here. This is so that you can verify your support and updates through MemberPress. It shouldn't affect the functionality of the pl plugin other than uh, automatic updates. All right, and we still have this uh, thing here, so we're going to go to the options page now. And the first thing we're going to want to do for our purposes is uh, create a payment method. So we're going to connect MemberPress to Stripe which is my personal preferred uh, credit card processor. So um, we'll call it credit card. And that's the label that will show up on the registration form. And I'm going to just go through and copy all of my keys into MemberPress here. Okay, now that those keys are in, I'm going to set this to test mode. And there's one last thing that we need to do here and that is set up the Stripe webhook URL and this is so Stripe can communicate back to MemberPress when a transaction goes through. So I'm going to just go click this and copy that URL and then I'm going to log into Stripe here and I'm going to add a new URL. And I'm setting it as a test because we're just going to be running test transactions for now but it will work equally as well in live mode. All right, so now that that's set up, we're going to update our options. And let's go and create our first product. So this product is going to be used to charge users for access to the financial analysis. We'll just call it something generic here, premium access. I'm going to set the price to $19.99 per month. And we're going to bill every month. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And let's take a look at what this uh, registration page will look like. I'm going to open this up in this other window here. And here's what it looks like. So it's completely integrated with the theme and everything and um, ready to ready to go. So if you look here though the financial analysis page is still unprotected so normal users can still access that. So let's create a rule that will block access to that unless the person has purchased premium access. So there are a lot of different rules that you can set for different types of content, but I'm going to set one up for a single page for financial analysis, that page. And we're going to grant access to the premium access product, and we're going to hit save now. 
All right, so that rule has been saved now. And just as kind of a polishing little touch here, uh, I'm going to add that product to our menu. Now when we come back to this site, we'll see that there's a new menu item for premium access. We'll also see that when you click financial analysis, it's blocked. And you'll see that you can register for premium access here. Now I already have a user account, and so I will type in, I'll log in here. And you'll see that you can now see the financial analysis page.